Okay, so apparently I'm missing a lot of topics. I don't know how this is happening because I stay on YouTube, but I'm not subscribed to all these channels. So to all my supporters who watch me, please comment below and let me know what's been going on, especially when it comes to drama, because you know, I'm pretty good with those type of videos. So if you know something that I should be reacting to, make sure you comment and let me know because I just might. Martin Lewis Resurrected posted, Chris Sales takes it too far. Queen Nyjah DDG, my de God. Okay, something's happening, I don't know. There's some drama going on and we're about to see what Martin Lewis is talking about. So previously, we have been talking about YouTubers who have been forgiving and moving on from past drama with other content creators that they've been friends with. <laughs> I was there when she- I already know where this is going. I said this, I said this about DDG's video about the dear blah 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 and those videos being towards like their enemies, their, their, um, their rivals, whatever you want to call them. A lot of them were fake. It was a trend, you guys. Not everybody was sorry for the drama, okay? It's reality. And she knows that too, you know what I'm saying? I was there for a lot of dramatic, good and bad moments in her life that had happened when we had came around each other. If we got each other's numbers, talk to each other, you know what I'm saying? We got negative backlash from her end, or well, her fans, a lot of her fans didn't want us collabing, doing videos. Well, today we're gonna be talking about the one and only, the GOAT. <laughs> Chris Sales, the video. Wait, hold up. Chris Sales made one? Did he really make one? Now you know, I, and I haven't even watched it because this is the first time I heard about it. You know in that video he was probably trolling. He was probably trolling, most likely. Get straight into the drama. 2020. <laughs> this guy. What? The only one to do this type of video in the car. This video about Queen. Yes, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. <laughs> and this is my last time telling you to hit the like button. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes and make sure to subscribe to Martin Lewis. This video, 2020. <laughs> I'm focusing on music. <laughs> oh my god. So it's not already a damn cough. Ow. I need to find that video where he talks about that because there's a video out there talking about his damn cough. Patty responded to this in his dear video saying, Oh, you see how the I'm saying? This kid is entertaining! He's entertaining, he leads you in with the, Oh, this is my last video about Queen. So now your ear is locked in. You're like, Shit, what you about to say for the last video? And then you he says that about every video. In every single video, he says that. This is the last time I'm talking about Queen. It's the last time I'm talking about Queen. It's the last time I'm going to talk about Clarence. This guy needs your views. He feeds off of them. That's the only way he makes his views is talking about them. He said today I got time, bro. I was like, get this. Well, it's my last time, man, buddy. You know me? Because you made, you done made a lot. You made a lot 2019. You just made about mm. 200, mm. 200 videos about Queen last year. Well, but you know me? Last one. Last one. And that whole, this is my last time on Queen. Epically fell. He's already talking again about Queen. Telling you. be uploading old videos of Queen Nigel. Telling Some you. Some of his fans have been saying, Let it go. Let it go, Chris. She won't be back. He must be a low on money. Is this not what I said? It was. I'm so over him. For but, real. Yeah, he's low on money. For real. For, for real. real. For Since real. the breakup, don't know it. I'm the only one seeing it. But Chris has been moving backwards. And I'm dreaming. I'm confused. I think he missed her. No, I he don't. I thought you were done talking about her. He doesn't miss her, you guys. He doesn't want her back, neither. He wants money. He wants money, and this is the only way to make it. Chris, come on. She has moved on completely. His baby has been low, and for <laughs> him to repulse this, he's so broken without her. That's crazy. He doesn't miss her. He does want some more money on Legend's birthday. You must need some attention. Is I dreamy? Cloud Choice and Chris Sales is back in it again. What be wrong, bro? I thought this was the last video we made. <laughs> Stop mentioning cute. What Chris sells, you win. Motherfuckers don't know how to spell. I thought I was bad. These people are ten times worse. Up. Wait, Chris sell making videos about Queen again was. He Martin, stop. <laughs> You're over here making fun of their spelling. You didn't even talk right. What did you say, worser? 
Ten times worse, sir. And this thing was ten times worse. Sir. Wait, Chris Sale <laughs> making videos about Queen again was yet again another tactic for a new song that he released. I'm confused. Hold on, what? Chris? Who is he? Chris Sale's got a boyfriend now? What the hell? <laughs> The song was really good and had some amazing artists. I don't know what was in these artists' heads because this video only got 34,000 views in one day, which is still pretty good. Oh my god! But usually when you put out music, especially with Chris Sells, with the amount of subscribers he had, you'd think he would get a million views. And I think people are just over the tactics, over the fake drama. <laughs> Listen, I like Chris Sell's music. I actually enjoy it, especially that album of Letter to My Ex. <laughs> that album was a shit. I liked almost every single song of that. So I don't hate on, on that aspect. They didn't want to go listen to his songs because of it. And it's really sad, the artists in his songs are very talented. I actually listened to the song and I was like, wow, Chris Sells always has songs until he has other artists on his track. <laughs> And it's really good. And the people in there are amazing singers. It's really bad because Chris Sell's personality and horrible antics just overshadow their talent. I agree. But hey, that's their fault. They're the ones who wanted to decide Facts. to team up with Chris. And anyway, then Chris Sell says he won't talk on anything unless it's positive. No, plans, no, no, no more videos. Um, unless it's positive, you know, unless it's positive. I'm speaking on a situation that's positive. You know, no more. That. Chris Sells tells everyone he has no problems with anyone. It's so genuine. I don't have a problem with Clarence. DDG. Even DDG responded to it saying, The evil! <laughs> well, Chris Sales. Now that was a long going beef. Chris Sales, bro, I honestly, bro, I don't have a problem with you. I honestly don't. I really don't. And I, oh. I feel like it was a lot of childish shit that was said. You know, I think it's all started over you raped Kennedy or something like that. Kennedy! I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to put that to work. Kennedy? Yeah, I'm, she can get it. I'm, me too. I'm, just I'm gonna have to smash that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have to you smash that. What? Tag team. Tag team? Lame ass man that don't need to even be taken to a beef. I believe it was actually him writing Queen. Him and that other friend of his, I forgot his clown name, but they made a video basically being disrespectful. If you want to see it, the link will be in the description below. Yeah, I hope you're doing good, bro. I have no issue with you. Everything is squashed on my side. I just want you to know that I don't have no problem with you. <laughs> Fucking Martin. I love his videos. I love the way he edits. I think he's got a great sense of humor. You got Chris Sales back there coughing and shit. Good, bro. I have no issue with you. Everything is squashed on my side. I just want you to know that I don't have no problem with you. I can see you. I can shake your hand right now. I have no issue with you. God bless. Uh, see you later. I can't speak too much how much involved you are with your son like that. That's really, really dope. I cannot ever. You know, people talk about how great of a father he is, and I'm pretty sure he is, but he does make mistakes just like any other parent does. And from my understanding, there's allegations of him hitting his girlfriends in front of his son, which shows a bad example of what a man should be because little Chris seeing that, little CJ seeing that is going to make him believe that that's normal and then that cycle is going to continue. If you want to show him different, Chris, show him different. Never, ever, ever take that away from me, bro. And um, just feel like, you know, it, the beefs that we had or the situations or issues that we had was absolutely pointless. It was absolutely uncalled for. It's been an issue at all, but I got respect for you. I have no issue with you. But I know about the whole DDG situation. Like, I know he had got mad that I had, like, Brady Kennedy and what happened. Oh, yeah, he just got mad, you know? But I just felt like, like, why? I just don't understand like, how can you get mad if you rated my girl or my ex, sorry, when I was with her, like, when I was dating her. Like, why? Like, how? Facts, you both got sensitive. Why? You guys are YouTubers. Your girlfriends are YouTubers. That's the whole point of the game is rating these women, rating these guys. Don't take it personal. It's entertainment. But you guys got all sensitive and shit. When you did the same thing, and then when I do it, it's a problem. I, just, I really didn't understand that. You know what, Queen? I love your accent for some reason. Uh, let me go. Alright, I wanna to talk to the queen. I have watched Chris. Shout out to Detroit, Michigan. Back of Creative Man, you're doing it big out here. You feel? And it's from Michigan. It's from Detroit. That's how we are. You're doing. Unfortunately, 
Queen made the list. You introduced Queen to the YouTube community. Which means that she was introduced to my me. She made the list. And I, oh. Wait, what did he say? Which means she was introduced to my... Hold on, let me rewind that. She made the list. Introduced Queen to the YouTube community. Which means that she was introduced to my... Me. Oh, hell no. Nah. So DDG didn't say that. It was the damn McQueen guy. He said, which means she was introduced to my dick. That's what he said. DDG didn't say that. And I, oh. But in this video, it does look like they're instigating. It does look like he's provoking. So I don't blame Chris for going back at him. Therefore, I am a very human. Oh, that's Yeah, you did. But I am a very human being. With that being said, my people told me last night he was queen. I will be the step. Yeah. Please watch. Okay, I get it. Yeah, they were disrespectful. <sighs> they were disrespectful. Those comments were unnecessary. We have so musty and Look, I'll give you a bath later, Tim Tam. Ask me all the time to take a bath. It's been five days, okay? I washed you five days ago with a lot of soap, okay? Could you just cut me a break? Please! Oh my god, I'm getting itchy. I'll give you a wash. Oh god. If you say you smash queen. <laughs> It's not a long, deep conversation. Well, how come they rejected your last name? Right? He asked me if we could go deep inside of the queen. <laughs> Listen, I love to please my. <laughs> so I gotta do what he says. Why don't you do what I say? I tell you do things and you don't do it. Look, chocolate stick. You know I can't just go do that, okay? You say you go in DDG's and you haven't done that yet. I are we really watching <laughs> these guys talking to their penises? Are we really watching this right now? Martin, <laughs> come on. Let's keep it moving. I can't just do that to him, okay? Because he's my friend. If I do that to him, then we won't be able to make YouTube videos no more. You never please me. But I know we have words and we DM each other, but like I said, I don't got no bad blood. I'm going to call to see him. You know, what's up, buddy? You know, there's no bad blood there. <laughs> At the same time, it's really good to see two morons being able to put this, you know, drama <laughs> aside. And people generally, you know, because it was really petty, especially coming from DDG's petty ass side. Yeah, he was petty um, as fuck. I really want to stop doing YouTube. I really want to quit doing YouTube, like, um, this year, in 2020. Please quit because you are horrible. You suck at it. You only succeeded because of Queen. And that's the honest truth. His titles suck because it's all about Queen. His thumbnails are horrible. There's no type of professionalism in that at all. And I'm pretty sure Queen used to do the thumbnails. Hold on, baby mom's calling me. Hello? As I was saying, yeah, his videos have been shitty. It's so, it's, he just needs to leave YouTube. Stick to music, I think your music was good. Oh my God! Um, I might be quitting YouTube. I, used to, I don't know, I just rather do music, you know, and speak through my music, you know, and, and, and a lot of people judge me, but like I said this before, nobody's perfect. Everybody got skeletons in their closet. Somebody special, <laughs> special type of woman. Are you really, at this very moment right now, I'm feeling Chris. I'm feeling him. I feel like you need to do the same thing. We all need to in a way. And of course, Patty's young, naive. He's going to believe anything that Chris Sell's probably going to say. But what Chris Sell... Martin, he doesn't believe him. That's just mighty God being funny. ...did was another fallacy. This is the same fallacy that CJ So Cool used. It's basically to take the attention off him and for him not to take responsibility for his actions. Like lying, manipulating to you guys, beating women up and not apologizing, lying to you guys again about it. I know me and Clarence had some words before. But, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know him, 
you don't know me personally, so it really should be no beef, no confrontation. And I mean this, and I really do mean this. Watching this, I just feel like Chris really doesn't just care. He's just talking out of his butt, trying to get some clout. Like, Y'all not gonna see me in no drama, like, none of that, no drama. I'm gonna just be doing music, studio, getting a house built out here in Houston, <laughs> a really nice house. Oh my God! You know. And I really just about to focus on me and my son. This whole 2000. As you should. But but you're not gonna do it, Chris. You need an income. I'm not about to be focused on the damn thing. If it ain't my son and me, Fan. everything else is irrelevant at this point. You know? Okay, so far his video has been pretty crap. Nothing about iPhone scams, nothing about doing people wrong, scamming his audience, lying to his audience. So, so far it's been a real crappy 2020 video, dear video. What? Chris L. then ends up talking about Pretty Boy Fredo. I actually did not know they had any drama towards each other. Some drama is about to happen! Pretty Boy Fredo? I, I never had a problem. I actually like Pretty Boy Fredo. I love his content, everything. Like, I feel like he's a dope artist. I mean, not a dope artist, but a dope YouTuber. Like, Pretty Boy Fredo dope. I, used to, like, I, I would watch Pretty Boy Fredo because his content is so... It's live, you know. And I know he said something about me, uh, like on, on Instagram, I think, or something like that. He said something like, I ain't gonna turn out like Chris Ells, or something like that. And I, I, I ain't never even respond to that. Oh my God, she threatened me! I'm like, you know, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I let people do their thing. You know, rock how they want to rock. At the end of the day, I'ma still genuinely be happy for that person and support that person. Have a blessed day! You know? Chris Ells then ends up apologizing to Patty. Patty, Patty Cake, I don't got no problem with you. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know you always trying to flame my bitch. It's cool. This. You oh. see? You see, Chris? This is why I need you. But this is why I gotta like him. This is why I gotta like him. This is, this is why I be trying to tell you I gotta like this kid. I mean, you know, like, I mean, I don't like him, but I kinda like him. And when we just part to him, Cause like you know, like feel me, I could really claim your ass, you feel me? So if you could be a good sport about it like that, come on. Come do it to me! <laughs> you know what I've been said about Chris in the last couple of years? That well, that was the old person person. You know what I've been said about this nigga right here? The flame this nigga who did two million views on this nigga head. You feel me? So like of course he's gonna jab at me. We don't even be really having beef. Like, I be really killing him because he think he can kill my man. That's what I was going to say. My to God only does these videos against Chris to back up Clarence because Clarence is not going to do it out of respect for Queen. He's not going to be making these videos talking shit about Chris. So you know what's going to happen? His boys got him. His boys got him. So he's going to do it. What Clarence can't do, he'll do. You feel me? You know I'm from New York. We follow up. We follow up. You feel me? We follow up, that's how we go. It's no one on here. You follow up, you mean let's follow the leader? Cause that's what it looks like. Clarence got into something, you got into something, but I get it, they're best friends. It's always going to happen with best friends. I had a best friend who was like that too. Of course, Quinn, I never, ever, ever, ever had a problem with you. But that's everything I just said, uh, uh cheat. For real. Chris, this is why we can't believe you in your videos. We can't believe shit coming out of your mouth. Didn't have a problem with you, that's why I cheated on you. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. I don't got a problem what? with nobody. I never did, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Really never did, like, so sure, I don't take that stuff serious. Cause like, I know when I see people in person, they just be a whole different thing. You know, like people like, all the time, oh, I hate this dude. Then it just be so much love in person. You know, I got your picture all over I'm f with you. I'm a f with you. Just different. That's only because they want a picture with you. They want to say who they met. But then they're gonna go back to the keyboard and start talking mad shit again. So it is. Vibes, you know, social media. Yes, it is very true. People act like that. Why? I don't know. Because they're losers and morons. I You're a moron. I don't f with people like that. Talk all this ish, and then in person, it's a whole different. Oh, I like you. I this. Mm -hmm. It's like what the hell? You were talking all this ish before. Now you're smiling up in my face. Say you want to be friends and. Sh no. Oh my god! Now Patty even had a dear video and he did talk a little bit about Chris saying it would be his last video on Chris. We'll see. No, you feel me? So this is my last video <laughs> about Chris. You feel me? And honestly, um, let me take this time to really say I really don't have no issue with Chris. Really shouting? 
You ever <laughs> try me like that? I have no. I, I honestly never had any issue with Chris. Like not no issue that like like if I saw him, it's attack time. Like yo, me and Chris got square up and shoot the one. Never, never, never. I actually find this kid super amusing. You feel me? <laughs> Damn, I wonder how Clarence feel about that. I mean, Chris, I really just find Chris dumb funny. Like I'm not gonna lie. Chris is really no different than the people I love. <laughs> you feel me? But it just gets misconstrued, you feel me? Damn, he really loves Chris. What the hell? First of all, Petty Patty got two- He sounds like a fan. I ain't gonna lie to you. But he is trolling, you guys. Two million views off this kid, too. So, like, sh shout out to Chris. You feel me? If you go on my um, famous birthdays right now, it's gonna say my claim to fame was the video with Chris. So, it's like- Okay, that's what I need to do for my views to climb up and my subscriptions to climb up. I need some drama Okay, can anyone find me a youtuber to talk shit about so we can create some drama? Because <laughs> I feel like that's the only way if you're not gonna make a viral video You have to create some type of drama did get almost 2 million views on Chris Sells and hey, it's good that he appreciates that. I ain't gonna lie, that's how I got on famous birthdays too. Oh my god! I'm calling out Chris and Queen. You guys can check my famous birthday out. I'll put the link in the description below. He then tries to decide if he should take Chris down, like lower him or not. My last, you know, I don't even know what it is. Did my last moment dissing Chris or that ain't gonna happen. bringing Chris down? That ain't gonna happen. The light things about Chris that you guys might find very funny that may make him look a certain way. This is my last time. You know you know what I think mm -hmm. is misconstrued too? Like, we just from New York. So like, naturally, we just be cutting ass. Like, I know people be like, New York is not an excuse to be doing certain, sh but like, mm -hmm. once I'm dead at, dude, like, it's in my natural nature to flame somebody. And I might really like, love you fully, like, fully, <laughs> like, I didn't mean to hurt your feel. Hold on, look at Martin, he's goofy. Look at that illustration, tell me not that, tell me that that's not funny. You got Chris in the bathtub with a rubber ducky, and you got my the God looking through the window. This is why I like Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. <laughs> this is why I like Martin Lewis. Like, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but you just might be dumb funny. And that's what sometimes, like, talk people are not just not saying Chris is dumb funny sometimes, but that's what it is. It's like, this is just a confusing romantic <laughs> story to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm confused. I'm it's a bromance, you know. It's a bromance. I'm like, wow. Chris can join a little threesome with him and Clarence. Why not? Love is love. Ah, what is this? The notebook? Chris Sells and Patty version? Like, what the hell? We're done with this one. Let me close this out. Let me close this out. I'm not. The old me would have kept going just to find something else to talk about. Truthfully, the way he did it was so smooth. Like, no, truthfully, I've been bothering you for two years, my boy. Truthfully, you entertained me for the last two years. You feel me? Hold up. So you're telling me. Some drama is about to happen! You've been bothering Chris Sells this whole time, and when I called you out on my videos for you being petty, immature, Lee wanna say I'm talking bad about you when the whole time I was talking fat? I hope I entertain you. I know there was times I flamed you and you was in the crib laughing. I know you was laughing at yourself. You know me? Because I'm so sure. funny. But other than that, my boy, I don't got no personal issues with you. <laughs> this is actually the last time. If I ever speak on you again, it will be because you're doing something positive. You feel me? Maybe you got a song that went out of here that I like. <laughs> Ooh, I see some romantic is going on. Chris Sells and Patty. Well, you get what I'm saying? You got a queen in the back behind a tree. <laughs> down the park, holding hands in New York City. They should put, he should have put Clarence behind Queen, too. Queen getting jealous. Oh. I see some romance going on, man. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Oh. Be hella jealous. That's all I'm saying, guys. Yeah, other than that, my boy, if you ain't doing nothing positive, I ain't really, I don't got nothing bad to say to you, man. You a black man. We both black men. Okay. I don't want to see you lose. You feel me? You was just funny to talk about. You actually helped me get here in a way subconsciously by just being yourself and me being myself. 
we somehow kind of connected. So, you feel me? I got no problem with you, my brother. And you can continue to prosper. But anyway, guys, that's what I think about Chris Sell's D video. I think it was okay. very stupid. For sure. I think it was a From waste what I of see. time. And I, oh. I think people are very gullible. And I think he's not really, it was just for some numbers. This man is, really doesn't have any yeah. empathy or understanding because if he did. I truly believe Chris Sales is a sociopath, 100%, 100%. He's very self-absorbed, very selfish. What matters to him is him and his son. I feel like the only feelings he does have and, and some, some form of empathy is towards his son. But other than that, he don't give a fuck about nobody. So he does this to entertain people to make money, that's all. He will apologize to his fans that he continues to screw over. Okay, Patty's just got a little crush on him. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. But I'm not here to spit rainbows and flowers and fairies. I'm here to be real and honest with you Me guys too. up front. And it is what it is. It is hey, what it is. Hit the subscribe button with the bell so don't miss out on any of the drama. If you have any story or leads you want to give me, check out my Instagram page. I have an Instagram page that I have with myself. And I have not posted anything. I only have a default picture, a profile picture, whatever you want to call it. Because I'm not ready to post anything yet. But if you choose to, you can always message me there and let me know of any story that you heard that you want me to react to. Let me know, okay? Because I care about my supporters and I care about what you guys would like to watch. Okay, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.